Hi everyone, I'm Darren Roberts, Regional Agronomist with Winfield United in Western Iowa, and today I'm here with Mitch Larson, District Sales Manager for Winfield United in North Central Iowa. And today we're talking a little bit about side dress nitrogen application and trying to maximize the return on that investment. So Mitch, tell us a little bit about, you know, what, what should we be considering with regards to side dress nitrogen? Yeah, great question. Uh, no doubt about it, there are ways to get the most out of our nitrogen applications. And the first way to do that is to understand the hybrids that we're planting. All hybrids are going to have a different response to nitrogen. They're going to give us different amount of bushel payback when we apply them with, with nitrogen application. So the first thing I always do is say, what am I planting? And what does the data say on how responsive this hybrid is? And, and so that's one thing that we do is we look at most of the cropland, DeKalb, NK, Vervant mycogen, and even some of the pioneer hybrids to see how do these hybrids respond when I give them additional nitrogen. And a lot of growers I see getting the most out of their nitrogen applications are using that data to prioritize where they're going first and how they're tweaking those rates. Okay, so we, we have had uh, some of the response to nitrogen scores on the screen behind us. So tell us, you know, if, if uh, we want to learn more about response to nitrogen scores for specific hybrids, where can we go to find that data? Yeah, the best place is going to be your local retail agronomist. This is all information that they have at their fingertips with working with Winfield United to, uh, to have this info to help growers make those best nitrogen hybrid decisions as possible. So we've evaluated our response to nitrogen scores and we've made the decision to apply additional nitrogen in season. So what's another consideration? Yeah, the next thing we got to do is understand what's our, what's our, what's our risk loss? What's, what could potentially happen out here that could prevent us from getting that applied nitrogen into the plant? A lot of times right now we're working with fertilizers like top dress urea or side dress UAN. Um, my biggest concern right now is losing that, those products to volatility. And volatility is essentially a urease enzyme acting on both of those fertilizers because they both contain urea and converting that urea portion into atmospheric gas, which prevents us from getting that nitrogen into the plant. Yeah, so from an agronomic standpoint, there's a number of different things that contribute to increased nitrogen volatility. So things such as increased residue on the soil surface, increases volatility, uh, high soil pH, heat, wind, humidity, all those things contribute to increased volatility. You know, so we've got so many of those risk factors and a lot of these cornfields that we've got in the state, it just makes it so much more important that we understand that this is a high risk loss. And so treating, whether it's your urea or your UAN with a urease inhibitor to stop that volatility process is very important. And that helps us maximize our chance of getting that applied nitrogen into the plant. Yeah, for sure. All right, so at this point we've uh, evaluated our response to nitrogen scores. We've decided to apply additional nitrogen in season. Um, and with that application, we're going to include a nitrogen stabilizer to protect that investment. Any other considerations before going to the field? Yeah, so this is really a great time to look at a couple of other key nutrients that the plant also needs right now. And the two that fit best and are most effective are looking at adding sulfur and boron to that application of nitrogen. Yeah, for sure. So if we think about sulfur first off, so sulfur and nitrogen both play cl critical roles within the plant. Both are highly related. Both help out with protein synthesis in particular. Yeah, and we actually feel so strongly about that role that nitrogen and sulfur play together. We include what we call an N to S ratio on our tissue samples. So if you look at an example like here, our most recent Nutrisolution tissue sample, we'll give you your score of where your N to S ratio is. And again, we always want to shoot for that 10 to 1 relationship. So, Darren, if I'm going to go apply 10 units of nitrogen, I should always be applying one unit of sulfur in that application to get the most out of it. Yeah, and if we think about a side dress application, if we're going to top dress urea, an easy way to, to help out with that sulfur uh, need would be to include some uh, AMS. If we're talking about a UAN application, we'd be including ATS or ammonium thiosulfate. Yeah, and so then to kind of put the cherry on top, the other nutrient I like to look at would be adding like a boron to that mix. And that's pretty much because of the important role that boron is going to play within the plant for the next few weeks in the plant's life cycle. Yeah, so kind of looking forward to tassel time. So boron in particular plays a critical role with germination of the pollen tube, formation of the silks, and overall pollination success. And actually, looking at the figure behind us, if we ran into an extreme boron deficiency, we could end up with uh, seeing some scattergrain ears out there. 
Yeah, and so the, the easiest way to address that is going to be if you're using like a liquid UAN side dress, it's pretty easy to add like a liquid 10% boron, or if you're going to be going with a dry urea, there's several products on the market that uh, you could add to coat those prills or to give you a nice distribution of, of boron within that urea blend. Yeah, so very good. So to kind of summarize what we've talked about here, so with regards to side dressing nitrogen, so three key points to consider. Uh, number one, response to nitrogen scores for the hybrid. Have we evaluated that? Number two, in particular with the surface application, are we including a urease inhibitor to protect against uh, ammonia volatilization? And then number three, with a side dress application, it gives us a very good opportunity to address other nutrient needs, in particular boron and sulfur.